What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Let me go turn the light on so I can have a little bit of light. I'll be right back. Okay. So I went to bed a little early and I just got up. So um, I went to bed actually really early, really freaking early. So, but then I got a channel in. So um, I wasn't planning on doing this one. It's 1.48 a.m. Central Standard Time, but we're here, just saying. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free your own reading. So it's important. Only take the messages that resonate. But the channel that I received was a pretty important one. It's for at least one person in the universe out there. Um, it's kind of like a, a spirit warning is kind of what I'm taking this as. But of course, everybody has free will. And if this applies to you or you feel like it applies to you, of course, you can make your own free will decisions. Um, so the channel I received was a Taurus from someone's past around your same age. Um, is wanting to come back into your life to work with you. But beware, because this person has stole a lot of money from you in the past and they're not doing well financially. They look at you as a money train. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how that resonates in your life. Um, it's a Taurus from somebody's past. They could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheim, and Jupiter charts. It could be a masculine or fin Taurus, but I heard they are around your same age. So, you know, you might be 20, you might be 40, you might be 50, you might be 30, you might be 60, for all I know. But whoever this is, this Taurus is of your past, um, they are around your same age. So I'm assuming uh, uh, maybe your age or a few years older or younger around your same age so you plug it in how it resonates i'm feeling like a couple a uh, few years younger or a few years older or the same age um but i heard they see you as a money train they see you as a money train and um they're not doing well financially they're not doing well financially and they basically want to come back and work with you so i don't know how they want to work with you some you might ha own your own business and you're doing well for some, you might um, be making really, really, really good money doing whatever you're doing, but you're doing, they know you're doing well, is what I'm saying. They know you're doing well or you're getting yourself up to do well. Um, they know this somehow, some way. For some, I feel, and I didn't hear this, this is just my deductive logic, reasoning, intuition. For some, they might be like stalking your social media, I'm feeling for some. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Because somehow they know you're doing well, or they're really, really asking other people that are connected to you, like manipulating other people for information on you, like not stalking you, but like buddy buddying it with other people. Oh, how's so and so doing? Just to find out how you're doing financially, how you're doing well, um, how you're doing financially, because they know they're not doing well financially. And whoever this is, they're very money hungry and very greedy, very, because they see you as dollar signs. They see you as dollar signs. And of course, they're not going to come in to your life with the premise like they see you as dollar signs. Of course, they want to come in on good graces and terms with you. Um, but the, the whole, but the the course they want to come in is good graces and terms with you, but all they really see is dollar signs in their eyeballs. And that's just the truth for overall. Whoever this is for, that's why I don't allow anybody from my past to come back. And I'm serious about that. Nobody. No exes, no ex spouses, no ex boyfriends, no ex family, no family, no. Nobody that I grew up with, nobody, nobody, because people are crazy. They're crazy. And I was put through hell and back, hell and back the, la the last couple years, hell and back. 
And I'm in, I'm in situations, I was put in situations I should never been put in. I was wrongfully terminated three times in a year. I had witchcraft and voodoo freaking performed on me and hexes and curses and all kinds of crazy shit. And crazy shit happened to me. Crazy. But if you uh, listen to some of the uh, reader stories on here, especially recently, they've been very, very, very verbal about them. Um, you will realize that a lot of readers have been put through hell and back. But it's because people like to attack chosen ones. They like to attack the true chosen ones, not the fake and fraudulent ones. They like to attack the true chosen ones, the ones with true abilities, true gifts from the spiritual realm that work on the light side. And that's the truth. Uh, it's like spiritual warfare. It's true. The dark side people like to feed off the light side people. It's like a narcissistic and empathic paradigm. Um, and that's the truth. It's the truth. So somebody really needs to be aware of a torrent of their path. Um, if you feel this resonates with you, it could be a masculine or femme torrent. They could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Dome, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard around your same age, but they are looking at you as dollar signs. St straight up, just dollar signs. And I'm serious. So somebody really needs to be careful. One of these torrents is about to be terminated soon for theft in their workplace and money laundering. One, their business has tanked into the ground because people cannot trust them. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, woo, Taurus, somebody needs to be careful of this Taurus, but we're getting lots of information on the Taurus. So if you feel this resonates with you, you have to plug it in your uh, situation however it resonates. But there's at least two, two Tauruses in the universe that this resonates with because one of these Tauruses I heard is about to get uh, terminated soon because uh, they're about to get caught for money laundering in their workplace, theft and money laundering in their workplace. And, um, one business has tanked into the ground because um, their business is tanked in the ground. So one of these Tauruses that wants to come back that's around your same age owns a business. But I heard their business is the one that owns the business that their business is tanked into the ground. I heard their business is tanked into the ground because pe people cannot trust them. And absolutely. How do you expect to be a respectable business owner if people cannot trust you? Um, I wouldn't want to do business with somebody I can't trust. And that's just the truth. I mean, who does? Who does? Nobody. Nobody. And that's the truth. So, um, so be careful of that. It's a business owner Taurus for one of you, one of you guys. It's a business owner Taurus around your same age, masculine or feminine. They own a business. They own their business, their own business. But their business has tanked into the ground, so it is not doing well at all. But it's because people in their community or other people that have done business with them in some shape, form, or fashion, or what have you, cannot trust them. So they might have done dirty work. They might have not done what they said they were going to do in their business practices. Or it could be people with their past, people they grew up with, or people in the community. They just cannot trust them. But it's made their business tank down. That's one torrent. The other Tauren, I heard they're about to get terminated soon from their job. So they're in a, an employment situation. and um, <clears throat> But they're about to get terminated for theft and money laundering. So um, so you plug it in however it resonates. And that's a Tauren around your same age as well. For some, it might be one of these Taurens. For some, it might be two plus. Everybody is on different time and life paths. Everybody's situation is different. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Somebody needs to be careful of Taurin or Taurins. Number 13 or 10 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 13 or 10. These could be possible ages of children you're connected to or your children, possibly. It could be a possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social security number, possible jersey number. <clears throat> 10 or 13. It could be reoccurring numbers you're seeing in advertisements or billboards on um, some shape, form, or fashion. Also, I wanted to point out we have 10, which is cycles um, uh, completing, cycle completing. 
So cycle completing of the torn about to get terminated for theft and money laundering because I heard they're about to get caught for theft and money laundering in their workplace. Um, so cycle completing with that torn, cycle completing with uh, the torn where their reputation is basically tanked into the ground in their community or their business reputation is tainted to the ground or both, but they see you as a money train. And also I see the cycle completion, the 10 um, cycle completion as um, you not allowing this person back if that's what you free willingly choose to do. Now some, I mean, of course you can allow this person or people back into your life if you want, but like I told you guys, for me, my, for me personally, I will not allow anybody back. Anybody, uh, anybody back into my life from the past, none, except, except, my, except my, my own, um, except my, my flesh and blood, that is it. Um, or people I have to deal with, like co-parenting situation, like an ex-spouse, my ex-spouse. But um, I'm talking about like into my life, like in, in, into my life. Um, you know, co-parenting, you can co-parent and not allow them in your life, you know, like in, in. Um, I'm not in my life. Nay, 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 nay. Um, and I've been getting text messages from my foster mother recently and trying to heal things. But I, uh, no, you need to heal away from me, away from me. There's many, I have not been around that lady for many years, but there's a reason. There's a reason, and that goes for the rest of my family. There's a reason I'm not around those crazy people, and that's just the truth. I mean, they need to wake up and realize this, and it's just the truth. No, you know, you the people have to be responsible for their actions, and people don't like to be responsible for their actions, and that's what causes crazy energetic spaces, crazy energetic readings that we get out in the universe and out in into the world for these crazy readings. That's what causes these. When people do not want to take responsibility for their own actions and go and heal themselves and grow and better themselves. And that's the truth. When they want to not take responsibility, want to try to come back and manipulate situations and yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. Just go off and heal yourself and go do your thing and leave folks alone that do not want to be bothered. And I mean, and that's the truth. Now there are codependent people and whoever these Torrens are, they're obviously codependent. They're very, very, very codependent, very. Um, but they need to be, uh, and of course you have free will to allow them back if you want. But I'm, I've always been a very independent person, very, very independent. So anybody that knows me knows that crap ain't gonna work. But these people are very codependent. They're very codependent. Wheel. Free will will definitely come into play, come into play here. And one of these Torrens is pro probably going to get a huge wake-up call soon and file a very important report soon. FTC report. Oh, my God. Okay, so you plug in and it resonates. So, okay, so I heard free will will definitely come into play here, definitely. Um, so, free will will definitely come into play. So, you using your own free will, your own head, your own logic, your own reasoning, and use your own free will to allow this person in your life or not allow this person in your life. They might try to come in with text, with an email, with a phone call, or they might try to come to your door. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of people coming to my home without notification. And that was another problem with my foster mother many years ago. She'd like to just pop up out of the blue and not even tell me she's coming. I hate that crap. I hate the crap. I hate the crap that anybody knows me knows that. Um, I hate that. Um, so hopefully they don't try to just pop up at your freaking home. I'm just saying. Um, everybody's different. But free will. Your free will to choose, basically. Your free will to choose whether to allow this person or people back into your life, basically. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. 
And also, I heard one of these Torrens is going to get a huge wake-up call soon and probably file a very important report soon. I heard FTC report. Um, I heard FTC report. Now, you know, I got a channeling in, I think it was yesterday or the day before, about a Federal Trade Commission report. Um, I, I heard FTC report in here. I think it's the Fe a Federal Trade Commission report um, for fraud, identity theft, money laundering, and um, uh, it's for fraud, theft, identity theft, money laundering, and any other of those terrible crimes. So FTC report, I think, is a Federal Trade Commission report, but it if FTC means something else to somebody else, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard FTC report. Uh, but they're about to get a huge, uh, one of them is about to get a huge wake up call and go file FTC report. Whatever that is, whether it's Federal Trade Commission report or something else, you plug it in how it resonates. Discernment. Definitely use your best discernment. And one of these Torrens was secretly giving a Libra money. It's about to stop in a huge way. And this Libra is going to end up having to pay it all back and they're going to be very pissed. Oh my God. Okay, so wow. So I heard basically use your best discernment um, with this torn or torrents because there's at least two, two torrents in the universe that I described in here from the reading that this is resonating with. But you're getting these spiritual messages to protect yourself or to use your head to protect yourself, I'm feeling, when these people come, come into your life because they haven't come back yet um, is what I'm feeling for whoever this is for. They haven't come back yet. Because there's a reason I'm channeling this in from the spiritual realm, I feel to help you so you can know to use your discernment when they do come back. That's why I'm feeling I'm getting these spiritual downloads at 1.30 something a.m. on December 12th of 2021. And I'm serious about that. But, um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, though, I heard basically use your best discernment. Use your best judgment, your best intuition, your best discernment. And your free will with these people. Um, people of the past are people of the past for a reason. I just want to throw that out there. People of the past are people of the past for a reason. Um, that's how I've always kept it. People of the past are people of the past for a reason. I mean, my goodness. Even even my marriage. I've been married one time in my life. One, mar uh, one marriage. And it has been a marriage of the past for a reason. The marriage was a marriage of a past for the re for a reason. I've never I'd have never tried to rekindle anything with him on a romantic spectrum because it was done. It was done when I when when me and my me and the kids left many years ago. It was done. It was done. And it was done. Like done done. You know, but I'm just using that as an example. I'm just using an example. I'm not trying to down talk my ex spouse or anything like that on here. I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm just using it as an example that it was a relationship of the past for a reason, is what I'm trying to say. You know, cycle completed, 10, cycle completed. I'm just using that as an example. Um, but my point is, is you have discernment. You have discernment and free will. Okay, but I feel like I'm getting these cha this channeling in to help somebody out there because whoever these torrents are, they have not tried to attempt to come back into your life yet, but I feel they're about to. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. But I do feel these torrents are very codependent, very, and they're going through hard times. They're obviously going through hard times or they're about to, but the thing is, is I know, I know a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys have told me your personal stories outside of tarot card reading. And of course, I'm a very private, confidential person. I will never show your information on here. Absolutely not. But with a lot of you guys sharing your personal stories to me privately, I know you've been through a lot of hard times is what I'm trying to say. I know you have. So what I'm trying to say is you have been through a lot of hard times yourself. Very hard times, just like I have. And I, I publicly put mine on here to help you guys. But... 
you've been through a heck of a lot of hard times. These people are very codependent. So if you allow them to come back and you went and done your healing and your shadow work and you went through your hard times on yourself, by yourself, by yourself, why would you allow some codependent sucker, energy sucker, money dollar sign person seeing dollar signs in their eyes because they see you as dollar signs. So you went off and you healed yourself and you're doing good financially or you're getting there to do good financially. Why would you allow this person or people back in your life? It doesn't make any sense to me. But of course you have free will. It's just, just a little food for thought if you might need to hear that. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.